Hello everyone and welcome to this Git Site Control tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to run A-B tests on your widgets. But first, what is an A-B test? An A-B test is a tool that allows you to compare two or more versions of the same widget against each other to establish which one is the most successful with your audience and brings you the best results. So uh, during the test, an equal percentage of your audience will see each version of the widget. If you have two widgets in your A-B test, 50% of your audience will see widget A and 50% will see widget B. Now, let me show you what widgets in an A-B test may look like. Um, so widgets in an A-B test should differ by only one characteristic for the test to be reliable, so that at the end of the test, you will know exactly what made one of them more successful. So as an example, here on widget A, uh, we have a 20% uh, discount offer. On widget B, uh, we have a free shipping offer. And as you can see, uh, the widgets look uh, almost identical. Now, uh, let's create our own widgets um, for our A-B test. I already have um, my first widget here. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's an email sign-up form. <clears throat> Uh, with uh, an offer for uh, a 10% off the first purchase. And I'll quickly show you the targeting settings that I have chosen. It's displaying on every page of the website. Um, I have my IP address here because um, I don't want anyone else to see this widget on our website since this is for, uh, for a test. The widget is appearing um, at exit intent and it stops displaying for one day after the user closed it and forever after the user subscribed, basically. So now I'm going to close it and I'm going to use the clone button to create a copy of the widget. I'm doing this to save time, but also to avoid any mistakes in creating uh, my other version of the widget so that I know that the widgets are uh, absolutely identical except for that one characteristic that I'm going to change now. So I'm going to open my widget and I want this version to be a free shipping offer. So I'm going to change the copy a little bit and the text on the bottom as well. And that's it. The targeting settings will be the same. They have to be identical so that uh, your audience has uh, an equal chance of seeing all of your widgets and they all get the same number of views. I'm going to save and close this one. And I'm going to add both widgets to the same A-B test. Let's say test one. I'm going to activate both of my widgets. Uh, now the test is running on my website and I can check its progress from the A-B testing, A-B tests uh, section. So as you can see here, I can see the number of views that they get, the actions performed. So when someone interacts with them, uh, the number of days they have been running on my website for, uh, the click-through rate, and the difference in the performance of the two widgets. Um, uh, when I've been running the test for, for some time. Um, you can also reset the results of the test if you want to start over. And when you stop the test, you can decide to stop the test and deactivate the losers, so the versions of the widget that were least successful, or you can delete the losers and just keep the winner widget for your website. And that's it. Now go run your own A-B test on your widgets.